coefficient of x two in the expansion of two plus three x times one minus half x to the power of three. We have to first expand one minus half x to the power of three in binomial expansion. So we have to use the first four terms. The first term consists of eight n c r zero times one to the power of eight times one minus times minus half x to the power of zero. The second term consists of eight n c r one one to the power of seven times minus half x to the power of one. The third term consists of eight n c r two. One to the power of six times minus half x to the power of two. The fourth term consists of eight n c r three. One to the power of five minus half x to the power of three. So this is a format. The next we have to complete the expansion. Okay, how do I get one? To get one, eight to the n c r zero in your calculator it is equal to one. One to the power of eight it is equal to one. This one to the power of zero. This one is equal to one. So one bracket one bracket one it is one. I draw this here. Okay. Next, the second term. How do I get minus four x eight? And see how one is equal to eight. One to the power of seven is still one minus half x to the power of one. So this one it is minus half x. So to get x, my x, this one comes from here. Then eight divided by two because this one is a denominator. So it's equal to eight. Minus half x. Since you remove the one already, because the one times one is still the same. So this one is just four minus four x. Eight divided by two for four x minus minus the. This one is minus because one is an odd number. Thus, we cannot remove the minus. So it is negative four x. Okay. So for the third term, eight n c r two in the calculator, it is twenty eight. This one is still equal to one since one to the power six is equal to one. And then this one is equal to so square. So minus half four x squared twenty eight times. Minus, sorry, minus or one quarter x squared. So that one is equal to. So this one can be a need to be divided by four, which is seven x squared. Since minus is removed because x squared removes the minus, it is an even number. So it becomes seven x squared. So the answer here is seven x squared. For the fourth term, eight n c r three is equal to fifty six. Sorry, ma'am. This one is still equal to one. This one is two to the power of three. This one, two to the power of three is eight, so it is equal to fifty-six times minus one out of eight x cube. Since this x cube is an odd number, thus minus is not removed. So to do fifty-six divided by eight is equal to seven. So x cube remains there. Minus remains. So this one is minus seven x cubed. Okay, so this one, the answer for the expression of this binomial is one minus four x plus seven x squared minus seven x squared from this. Okay, so now 
now we have to expand this whole thing together. First, we put down, we put back the first equation. After that, we put the equation that we have solved here. The, we have to find the coefficient of x cubed. To find x cubed, we have to see which one times, which one times together becomes x cubed. So, as you can see, 2 times 1, it's not x cubed. 2 times 4 at minus 4x is not x cubed. 2 times 7 x squared is not x cubed. 2 times 7 x cubed it is x cubed. So we write that down. 2 times negative x cubed. For the second term, 3x. 3x times 1. It is not x cubed. 3x times minus 4x is not x cubed. 3x times 7x squared down 3x times 7x squared. Then we solve 2 times negative 7x cubed is equal to negative 14x cubed. 3x times 7x squared is equal to 21x cubed. And then after that, Minus 14x cubed plus 21x cubed is equal to 7x cubed. So the answer, the coefficient of x cubed is 7. Okay, thank you.